tutorial on how to use um, the diagnostic, I f I've kind of forgot the steps, so it was a refresher for me going through the steps. But um, we're entering, it's like the, the spring diagnostic window, and iReady recommends a certain time frame. So when you go into iReady, you're going to assess and teach. Choose that. I'll send this out to you guys too. And then I can show you on the program. Step one, assess and teach. Select your subject under assessment. Then over to the right, you're, it's like this action tab and you're going to assign reading diagnostic if you accidentally assign and you want to take it off, you can cancel that down at the bottom, the diagnostic. Um, then the screen will prompt you just a few steps, so choose your class assigned to your class, select the population which will be your, your, your students, and then click the green button assign. Um, then step five is just monitoring the student's progress and reviewing their diagnostic results. And iReady suggests holding student conferences. So bringing students over and just sitting down with them and, and showing them how they've grown throughout the year. Um, let's see, so Nora had asked about, let's see. You had asked about going through lessons. Does anyone have any questions about that process? So I'll show you just exactly what I did. Assign and teach up at the Good top. Morning, Assessments. Okay, the re so it's recommended testing windows. That spring testing window starts April 3rd. I, it's, you can do it this week or next week if you wanted to. It's just iReady's kind of recommended time frame. Um, so if you were wanting to know some or gather some data about your student growth for the end of the year, well, this is the time window, April 3rd to uh, May 31st. I know fifth grade. We need to send that over to Nicolette, that information. They ask for students, language arts, and, or they, Nicolette asks for their reading and math scores in iReady for placement. Um, like, so actions, math, let's just say, choose your class, go through the steps. I'm gonna show you how to take this off too and assign math diagnostic. So changes have saved, you'll see this green bar at the top. And if I wanted to remove that diagnostic, same thing, action, um, cancel my math diagnostic, same steps. Um, any questions you guys about assigning this diagnostic? <coughs> lessons you can do lessons online instruction with whole group so online instruction monitor online instruction I think you would do that by choosing a student and let's <coughs> say upcoming lessons <clears throat> uh, I would have to look through Nora asked could you Choose a lesson from iReady and do it a whole group. Okay, yes, main idea. Nope. There's got to be a way. If you wanted to do, let's see. So, determine a central message of a story. You can choose that and um, do lessons whole group if you wanted. I hope that helped, Nora. Yeah. Okay. Can you go back through the steps of how you got there? Sure. 
Oh, to the lessons? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, assess and teach. Online instruction. There we go. That's it. Perfect. So assess and teach because we, we want to teach. Let's say we want to teach whole group a certain lesson that they're not getting. Click the subject and then you're just going to search. What's something that we're having an issue with students in math? Um, fractions. Okay. Fractions. Understand fractions on a number line. Mm -hmm. And then you would choose that either start with the instruction, maybe quiz to get kind of um, an informal assessment of how they're doing. So there you go. Yeah, that was that's cool. I haven't thought about that of, of using this as whole group instruction. Great. Thanks guys. Could that be part of an intro to a um, to a math lesson? to a new chapter or something. That's a good idea. Yeah, I like that. Can we watch a little bit of what that one? Sure. Third, uh, sure. Fractions on the like it was a video. Yep. You weren't kidding. It's a straight line forever. Eight miles exactly. You ready to run? Hey, what's this? Careful, man. It looks ancient. Looks like some kind of treasure map. Look at that. This map sort of looks like a number line. What are we waiting for? Let's figure out what it means so we can find the treasure. Why are we whispering? We get the idea? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Super cool. <coughs> Love it. <coughs> So, any questions on assigning diagnostic at all? Okay. I, have, I have a question, but I don't, any questions, is that okay? Um, I've heard that iReady correlates pretty close to state tests. How can I check um, just overall scores for iReady? You, Does that, do you understand my question? Yeah. Okay. You, oops, you can, after, so diagnostic results, um, you can explore their placement. Um, and it tells you where they're at in each subject. Okay, but not like an overall score. Like D ELA and here's that score. Yes? It gives you an overall score, okay. yeah. That number is this number up here, 575. Got it. Oh, yeah, the overall. Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks, guys. If anyone has any information or tools, like we could do repeats on Tech Tuesdays. Yesenia, if you wanted to do another refresher on um, PBIS, like how to upload documents, that would be super helpful. I know Sunny had. You had an I. You. Oh, on um, Think Central. Yes. Yeah. I just find that Think Central when you log in in your particular grade, you just go under Resources, and then you'll find that when you scroll down, you see some different icons, and you'll see SBAT practice test. Oh, okay. So there's there's a, a student edition and there's a teacher's edition. So that's really because it's really close also to the mm -hmm. state test. Mm -hmm. Grab some coffee, donut. <laughs> <laughs>